Hello, I'm Hardman Canada and I can speak with my telepathic powers because of my double mustache. Today I will talk about the PlayStation Now. The PlayStation Now is a service that lets you steam PlayStation 3 games on the PlayStation 4. It's also available on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation TV. But is it worth it? In my opinion, at its current state, it's not worth it for game collectors. The third, the third thing that bothers me is that we, can, we can't transfer PS3, PSN games on the PS4 like Mega Man 9, Mega Man 10, Contra, Sonic Episode 1 and 2 and so on. For gamers who have invested in the previous generation, they will have a feeling of paying a second time for a game they have already purchased and it's the same thing with the physical copies of the PlayStation 3 game because the PlayStation 4 is not backward compatible. A gamer who keeps his old console will simply avoid this service and play on the PlayStation 3. But this service can be interesting for gamers who don't keep their old console and have missed out on few games like Uncharted. The second thing is that a game collector can find most of these price most of these games at a cheaper price. For example, Art of Fighting cost $9 for 90 days. I brought Art of Fighting for $10 and it's mine forever. King of Fighter 94 cost $9 for 90 days. I brought King of Fighter collection for $20 and it's mine forever because of my mustache. Hotshot Golf cost $15. I bought that game for $10. Individually, these games will cost a lot but you can pay $20 a month to have access to all of these games which is a good thing for game for gamers who are not game collectors but for game collectors it's still not worth it the third thing is that we have to be connected to the internet to to play and when it comes to the video game it's risky when I watch my shows on Netflix, sometimes I lose my connection for no reason. But it's not a big problem because I can resume, resume my show once my connection is back. But if you play a game and lose your connection before a save point or before beating a very hard boss, you will be discouraged and you will cry like a baby. When I was a small kid with no mustache, me and my big brother, we played Mario Bros. 3 for the Nintendo. But one day, we reached the 8th world and after completing a very hard level, there was a power failure in my neighborhood and we lost our progress. Power failures are rare, but internet connection issues are less rare. Think about it. For those of you who pay online, 
How many times did you had a problem with the connectivity? Now do you understand my point? In conclusion, the PS Now is not worth it for game collectors in, it, in its current state. I have a confession to make. I'm bored. A few days ago, I went to McDonald's with my discount tickets, but a blonde girl laughed at me and said to me, <laughs> You look like my big brother who is bald. All the bald people look alike. You all look alike. <laughs> I'm sad because I make an effort to be unique. So it means that I look like all of these people? I have two questions. Number one, what's your opinion about the PlayStation Now? And number two, do you think all the bold people look alike? It's your job to raise my self-esteem. My happiness will depend on your answer. Bye everyone, I love you all because of my mustache.